everyone, this is Ron from MyTech Legion, and this is an overview of the Corsair Link software as part of our H100i review. And as you can see here, we have launched the software. This actually requires .NET Framework 4.0. It will automatically download and install it for you if you don't have it installed in your system automatically. Here you have the layout. Uh, instead of having the manual setting for quiet, balanced, and performance mode, that was on the H100, that there was physically a button on the pump unit itself. The Corsair H100i is controlled through this Corsair Link software. You have to download this from Corsair's website. And as you can see there, uh, you can it's just an overview of the temperatures in there. If you have other devices that are Corsair Link compatible and connected, you can see them there. But right now, I only have my H100i, so you can detect my CPU temperature. I can actually detect other devices as well. I have my hard drive. I have two hard drives and I installed two hard drives to, to kind of torture test this system. And just so I have max, that's why I tested my stock settings without any of the power saving features at all compared to my previous reviews. So, And I have uh, also an LED control here where you can change the color. I have, uh, the old H100 the previous version can only have like a little bluish white LED, but this way, but that was the color by default. Uh, but now you have an RGB changer, and it changes automatically. Actually, immediately upon changing this, these sliders here, it reflects the changes on your uh, Corsair H100 pump unit itself. And you can also have the pulse control right here on the right side. And you can have a cycling mode. You have cycling and temperature mode uh, for the LED. It uh, detects that. You can set different settings for the type of temperatures. Of course, red being the default for the hottest temperature. And you can name these. Yeah, you put it in group. And also, right here at the bottom, just basic stuff. You have your profile. You can save each profile and uh, change the icon size. I have it enlarged right now since I'm demonstrating the software for you. And uh, then the overview, it automatically um, kind of uh, nests in there. I have my CPU temperature, and you can set to auto hide. Uh, I don't. I'm not using the Corsair 600T case you see here. This is just basically a placeholder case. It will highlight there if you have various devices that are connected to Corsair Link that are Corsair products. You will see it highlighted there. Uh, since I only have H100, it doesn't have it there. And for the H100 controls, it actually is controlled here. You can control the pump, the fan. Both the fans are connected. If you have four fans, of course, you're going to have four connections there. And here are the profiles. You have the quiet mode, balance mode, performance. You can hear that it automatically kicks in the moment you do this. So it's pretty much live control via USB. And you have custom preferences. You can change different points. Uh, and Right, uh, let me just uh, move that. Fixed RPM, if you want the constant speed. You have the fixed R uh, fixed percentage and uh, uh, for the PWM mode right here. And you also have the maximum, just pure maximum, if you want the maximum RPM fan running. And the default, we're going to set it for quiet for now. And while uh, having that, you have at the bottom, you have the information tab and you have the notifications uh, drop down here where you can uh, set it so it alerts you if it dips a certain minimum or it reaches a certain maximum temperature and you can also have it send an email automatically. For example, if you're away and your system is running, you can have the Corsair Link software kind of notify you. Also, you have the um, shut down the PC if it reaches a certain uh, level. Yeah, you can run a file, trigger all RGB LEDs or set all fans to 100. And let me just that up again. And for the options here on top, again, you can name each one depending on uh, how you want it. This is the port H1 and I fan one by default. You, have, you can choose uh, which device type. You have the group and one CPU panels are the same. Uh, it actually shows, you can see I have a six core, uh, six physical core 3960X here. So it's seeing, showing the load on each core in graph form and then the temperature on top uh, as average. As for the pump, you have the control here. You have um, RPM divider, you have uh, one, two, four, and six. Pump sends uh, 
Now you can change it in here and you also can change the grouping, device type, and the name. Leave it for now. And you have the H100i fan too, similar to the H100i fan. So if you want to set it to quiet, on both sides, you want to set both fans. If you have four fans, you want to set all four fans into the same mode. And you can change each one individually, not like H100 where you only have the option for quiet, balance, and performance for all the fans connected to the pump unit itself. And also, you can detect my video card temperature right at the bottom and the video card uh, fan. So that's the extra feature there. Now for the next tab, you have the group tab where you can adjust the grouping for the CPU for the H100i temperature and GeForce temperature. You can see it's very intuitive software, very easy to use. And once again, you have the sh shortcut here for adjusting the LED. You have the graphs here. You can, uh, they're disabled by default. You can just kinda set it like that. Click. And there are different colors, of course. You can add or subtract temperatures there versus time. Uh, graph, and you have the option panel where you have uh, it can change the settings, show all devices, show temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit if you're American. You can snap the grid, run Windows at startup. Of course, you want this if you want maximum fan control, you always want to set this. So I'm going to take that and start minimized. And then you can change the skin. Uh, basically, of course, light and of course, your dark and the font color. Although I actually want to uh, change the font size. I don't seem to have any options here for, fan sizes, uh, for font sizes. Uh, we'll leave it for that. And here you can have access to the profiles the same way you have a drop down access here for profiles if you are saving some. And then your mail setup. So it can notify you through your email. Uh, next option here are the devices option. And you can shows you the version of the Corsair H100i you're running, uh, which version you have, which firmware version, and which version of the Corsair Hydro USB. And also it detects uh, some of your stuff. You there's actually an update firmware automatically here uh, option. Let's click that and see. I right, close it to the software, so we'll do that later on. Nope. Uh, let me just continue here. You have the, also, also the options for logging. If you are benchmarking, for example, you can log the temperatures here. You have Intel CPU temperature. You have Intel CPU load, drive temp, pretty much all the graphs you were seeing earlier. And you can save it as a CSV file or a comma-separated value file. You can open it in Excel or as a text file. You can set the interval there as well. And that is pretty much it. You have the Corsair Link software about page here last time. And uh, go back to the main unit. And then we are now going back to the rest of the review. You can click the links below for the full review at hightechlegion.com. Uh, you can also leave questions and comments. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash uh, hightechlegion. And our Facebook channel, Facebook at our Facebook page at facebook.com slash HDL Reviews. This is Ron, once again, signing out.